Oh, that one's trying to come out. The sun card. I love it. Okay. The sun is coming to shine its light to what's been kept hidden to reveal the truth. Yeah, we'll see the truth whether we're right or suspicions are factual or not. What we suspect of something is true or not this week. Hey Pisces, welcome to your Oracle reading. Guys, this is for February 19th through the 25th. I almost forgot. <laughs> yes, I did. Um, anybody that's interested in any of the decks I use, I will have links in the description box of where to find them. Let's jump in. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces this week. Where's the energy for my Pisces this week? My Pisces. Oh, I felt like something flipped, dude. I don't see it. Oh, right there. Hmm. Here we look, guys. Pisces. You. Boundaries. Set and honor your boundaries to avoid being taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll find out a little bit more on that. Let's make sure that we don't have too rigid of boundaries also. You want good boundaries, but you also don't want to be so rigid that your boundaries are working against you. Let's see what else wants to come out this week for my Pisces. What else? Pop. Oh, we're getting two coming in the center here. Unrevealed secrets. What is happening on the surface is not what you'll see if you dive deeper. We dive deeper, look deeper into something, and we've got stag spirit. You are meant for great things. Trust in all that you have to offer. Trust in all that you have to offer. Yeah, guys, we may be, we may not be seeing clearly on a situation or circumstances. Um, so yeah, might have uh, what do I want to say? Fear, um, suspicions. Uh -huh. Are they founded? Are they factual? Let's keep going here. What else will come out? Oh, that one's trying to come out. The sun card. I love it. Okay. The sun is coming to shine its light to what's been kept hidden to reveal the truth. Yeah, we'll see the truth whether we're right or suspicions or factual or not. What we suspect of something is true or not this week. So, yeah. Let's keep going. Which deck? This one. Let's come back on your energy over here, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces in their intuition. Is your intuition right or is it just your fear? Let's find out a little bit more. I got my guard up a little bit too much. We got thoughts coming out. Keep your thoughts positive. Move past your limiting beliefs and shift your energy to raise your vibration our thoughts are working against us so it's really hard to tell are we intuiting something right or not uh, so yeah let's come on to that stag spirit mm -hmm. look deeper into something surface isn't showing us that one's trying to come out i'm gonna take it because it's wanting to slide out but what popped out was back on track May be time to, to reassess your goals and lay a proper foundation to help you get back on track. Develop a new strategy. Ooh, look deeper on something and celebrate. Celebrate the progress you've made and appreciate all that you already have. You've come a long ways. Mm -hmm. Back on track. Okay. On the sun card. What's coming out for that sun card? It's for my Pisces on their sun card. Pop, there it goes. A spring. What you're asking for will become yours in spring. Rebirth, spiritual rejuvenation, love, and growth awaits. Guys, uh, with spring coming out for some of us, yes, if you are looking for a timeline on manifesting something, yeah, sure, go ahead. You could say spring. But this week, the energy within the week for you is springtime energy, new growth. Things come into the light where you can see things clearly and determine uh, whether you've intuited it right or if your thoughts have been working against you. Hopefully that makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
Let's keep going. Let's find out what was what about your innate gifts, your spiritual talents, skills, and abilities will be helpful or hindering you this week on your thoughts. Let's see what's coming out on Pisces. And ooh, we've got some trying to come out, but they're going right back in. There it goes. Mm, okay, couldn't make up its mind. Resilience. You don't give up despite the obstacles ahead. You know how to take care of yourself and find peace in the storms of life. Yeah, your resilience. Stick with it. Don't give up yet. Coming back on. Being on track. Yes. Look deeper into something. Mm -hmm. What is that? Venus. You're deeply connected to Venus. Um, a font, a font of love, affection, and robust sensuality. Bringing other worldly pleasures. Let's find out a little bit more on that. Because uh, that one in itself may be something that is hindering you. Let's find out a little bit more. Right there it is. We've got Shaman. Mm. You can tap into, into a powerful way. Of guiding your life and the lives of others. Often through great struggle that you learn to break free and awaken to the truth to help others. Your shaman, your intuition. Mm -hmm. But don't let this Venus energy get in your way. Venus energy uh, oftentimes is what we're desiring. We're wanting an outcome to something. Uh, we'll try to, our temperance will actually go in its shadow of trying to force things to unfold when they may not be ready to unfold. Coming in on your spring energy and the sun coming out to reveal what's helping or hindering on that one. Let me get control of the deck and we'll cut it. <clears throat> okay, Let's see if we can get it back under control here. There we go. My Pisces on their sun. I'm on, it didn't come all the way out, but I'm going to take it. I want to look at it. What else? What else? What else? Pop. There it goes. Clear audience. Clear audience. But what come? What was trying to come out? Royalty. I'm going to have to cover some things here. Royalty. <laughs> you have royal royalty qualities that command power and causes extreme reactions you're either loved or hated changing them to become better oh so yeah mm. either loved or hated i need to cover her up guys because of youtube <laughs> standards yes i didn't realize there was that much yes Claire, audience, you have the gift of receiving intuitive messages from spirit. It may sound as if it's right next to you inside your head or echoing as if from another dimension. Oh, your intuition is banging this week, guys. Um, with this card coming out, I really want to say just you being innately you and something about you is going to trigger others that will trigger the what's coming to the surface you'll get to see the realness of the situation just by innately standing in your own energy nothing you have to do your tent there's don't put a shadow on your temperance uh of trying to force something to come out you're naturally going to trigger something this week that brings it all forward mm -hmm. brings it to the light our next deck uh it's still more of X. We're using a lot of her decks. But I want to show y'all the symbol on it. Let me get it in my hands. and get a tight grip on it. There we go. Sometimes the symbols on the back of her cards can work as sigils. Mm -hmm. Let's come in over here on the resilience in your thoughts. Your Pisces energy. Ooh. We're taking it. Slow. Making slow progress, but you're getting there. Remember, slow and steady work leads to success that is sustainable. Time to stop putting things off for later when you need to do it now. Focus in on a little bit of 
work away from because I got a feeling this is this is more of a relationship interaction with someone that's uh bringing brought out this week but slow and steady just focus on what you need to do right now because your natural innate energy is going to trigger someone else or a situation and you'll see it clearly coming in on your shaman Ooh, fleeting mm -hmm, look deeper you're in a transition phase of your career if you keep Faking it or winging it, you will end up going nowhere fast. You're trying to make something work when you know it's not for you. Ooh. Now, that can be relationship, anything like that. You take it as will, how it will fit for you. It's coming on your spring and you just finding it. Yeah, it's coming to the light. But Claire, audience, you're going to hear, you're going to hear echoing to you. Mm -hmm. Comfort. Your income is steady and living. Your income is steady and living comfortably. Keep rising, raising the bar and get out of your comfort zone. Being too comfortable and playing life too safe is hurting your success. Playing a little too safe. Don't be afraid to come out of the comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Shake things up. Shake the energy up. Her other deck, guys. I'm going to show you the symbol on it. Mm -hmm. On this slow and steady wins the race and gives you success, success that is sustainable. That's what everyone wants. We don't want quick success. We don't want to go viral. That does not help. Legal matters. Bad contract, not paying debts, divorce, avoiding responsibility, or shady work. Face your, face your life honestly, no matter how inconvenient that truth might be. If you choose to proceed with integrity and honesty, you will find yourself on a stable... I dropped it, guys. <laughs> Hold on. On a stable, what? Pathway towards success. A stable. Yeah, stability, sustainability, long-term, stable is key words for you this week in your choices. On that center, fleeting. You're trying to make something work when you know it's not for you. What is that? Because this guy is coming back on track. With that one. It's for my Pisces. Talk to us. Pop. There it goes. Comfort zone. Again, our comfort zone, guys. Fear and uncertainty prevent you from breaking out of your comfort zone. Step into the unknown and do something you've never done before. And you will realize the prize for being brave will be worth the effort. Ow, come out of your comfort zone. Do something different. Mm. Don't chase trends. Chase authenticness. Mm -hmm. Let's come in over here on that other comfort zone. What is that for my Pisces? Let's talk more on the comfort zone. Deck's trying to get out of control. It's okay. Pop, there it goes. Beating a dead horse. Don't know when to walk away when something is clearly not working. That's the second time on not working, second time on comfort zone. If you have exhausted everything within your power to make something work and it still doesn't, it's time to move on. Look for the takeaways from this lesson that will improve your chances of success. Wow. Are we getting that one, guys? Don't be beating the dead horse. If it's not working, it's not working. Come out of your comfort zone. Mm. Let's go ahead and pull in with um, Susan Dawn's Tarot in Translation. This is the deck, uh, Matters of the Heart. We'll pull her other one for other matters in a minute. Let's see what will come out for my Pisces on Matters of the Heart here. It's for my Pisces. My Pisces. Whatever needs to come out. Pop, there it goes. We've got a five of wands. 
there's external conflict or competition being experienced within this connection. Look at the situation from a higher perspective and open your heart space to return to an energy of love. Mm -hmm. Coming back on track, guys. Competition. Mm -hmm. Disorganized 501s is just chaotic drama stuff. Yes. Let's do her other deck real quick. See what will come out for any other area of life for you. It's for my Pisces. What do they need this week? It's for my Pisces. Oh, it's trying to get out of control. There it goes. <laughs> Ooh, y'all trying to jump, jump out, explode out. Yes, you are. Page of Swords, there's excitement. Yes, there was. In the air and a pep in your step. You're bursting with ideas and boundless curiosity, ready to begin a new adventure in which you're eager to share what's on your mind. Eager to share. Yeah, definitely. That's what I was feeling with these cards. You're trying to burst forward. You're eager to for something. Yeah, but remember your temperance temperance divine time and allow it to unfold don't try to force anything so yeah let's go ahead and get which deck oh shadow deck yes almost forgot <laughs> uh, this one is jennifer aquarius tarot sacred karmic shadow work oracle this deck i'm asking source and your higher self to bring out any shadows that may trigger this week that you need to uh, be on guard against <clears throat> shadows are simply subconscious programmings from our past that we behave and uh, make choices from. Don't criticize yourself if you find yourself in a triggered shadow. Just uh, acknowledge you're in the trigger. And a lot of times that just, if you can see it and don't judge it, it will start to open the doorway to reprogram it. For my Pisces, anything that might trigger on this week. Bring any shadows to surface. Anything that triggers. It's for my Pisces. Pop first one out. Let's see what it is. Mm. Superstitions. Woo. We already know uh, from the opening energy of we're not sure if it's, you know, our suspicions, things like that. We're not trusting our intuition. By the, by the end of the week, everything will be clear on that one. But let's see what triggered, what triggered them not trusting their intuition. What triggers it? What triggers it? Where's the trigger at? Remember guys, this is not all of a sudden trigger. We're talking about programming in from your past. Stubborn, somebody being stubborn when you uh, encounter someone that's stubborn. Uh, that's not in sync or al in alignment with you on something, it automatically triggers you not to trust yourself. Stubbornness can come across as arrogance or I almost want to say narcissistic where they'll turn it and say, no, it's you. And then your brain goes, well, okay, wait a minute. Anything else that triggers? Mm -hmm. Bossy. When somebody's bossy and stubborn with you, telling you what to do, what happens is it has you doubting your intuition and what you know. There's your triggers to be aware of. Don't judge yourself for it. Don't judge others. Just recognize when it's been triggered and um, acknowledge it. Like I said, that opens the doorway to re-script and have us doing something different, not making choices and acting out on the shadows. Let's go ahead and pull messages, guys. We're going to use angel wings to start with. Ooh, deck's cold. Let me shuffle it around for a minute. It's for my Pisces. Overall, it's a good week, guys. Because mm -hmm. it has you coming back on track and reconnecting with yourself. Ooh, first one out. You are a being of the universe. Feel the connection. You are never alone. Never alone. Mm -hmm. First thing deemed not good in the Judeo-Christian Bible is that man should be alone. So God fixed that. <laughs> yes, he did. You will always have a sense there's someone in your body with you. Yes. Yes. That's the reason you can have a conversation with yourself. You're never alone. That's the truth. And when we feel alone, guys, that's when we become dysfunctional. Anything else? Yes, we got something else. 
And don't be afraid to ask for help from your guides. Your guides love to help you. Love to help you. Yes, they do. Source loves to step in for us. You're never alone. Even if you feel like you are, you're not. Mm -mm. You're not disconnected. You're not a stick all alone. Tabronic um, definition of alone means stick. To be a stick. Cut off from the tree or laying, you know, at, on the ground. Cut off from the tree. Yeah. Cut away or cast away. Oh. You're not a stick. Mm -mm. Let's see what our starlight message will be for my Pisces. Oh, my Pisces. Did I get one that turned? Yes, I did and kept going. Didn't realize it. Navigate. Beacons of light in the night sky are there to guide you. Oh, beacons of light in the night skies. If you know any astrology. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Yes. Mm. Take charge. Don't wait for the stars to align. Reach up and arrange them the way you want. Are we getting that one, guys? Uh -huh. Don't think that you don't have control or can steer the fate of your destiny. You actually can. It's telling you, come away from, yeah, this one, come away from astrology. If you're leaning too much on it or tarot, anything like that, that has to do with divination, star signs, you can take charge. You can arrange those in any way you want. Yes. Let's get y'all a motivation motivation manifesto for the week. It's for my Pisces. My Pisces. They need what they need this week. For my Pisces. My Pisces. There it goes. Mm, what did we get over here? When we were hurt, we felt that love was somehow diminished or damaged. But hurt has nothing to do with love. And love is unaffiliated with or unaffected by pain. Ego was hurt, not love. Love is divine. It is everywhere, ever-present, and abundant, and free. Never alone. Ooh, Pisces, y'all stay blessed.